What's well, cracking, Soldiers? Manler here at the Man Cave. Hopefully you did something this past weekend to rectify your pussy parts and up your man quotient to become the man you know you want to become. Now, big week this week. I've got the Colombian slave ho, Andres in town, and also the vert freak, Adam Lincolnauger, has graced us with his presence. Point being, these guys took time out of their busy schedule, made it from out of state, and did so knowing the fact that they have no excuse not to do so. That's what I want to talk about today, guys. The fact that there are a lot of excuses, a lot of bullshit excuses a lot of you are, are um, throwing out there that aren't allowing you to get to what you want in life or get to where you want to be in life. And uh, I've actually got the slave ho, Andres, to write up each and every excuse he could think of that is keeping y'all from getting what you want. And um, I'm going to address each and every one of them and help you unpussify yourself. So hold tight. I'm going to fuck you up with some truth. I can't do it. Not with that attitude you can't, you pussy. Fact of the matter is this, you don't know what you can and can't do because you haven't pushed hard enough and you haven't had a good plan in place to get to where you want to be. So quit saying you can't do it and quit being a giant fucking vagina. All you need to do is know how to get from point A to point B and be willing to work. Period. I don't have enough money. If you tell me you don't have enough money and you write that excuse in an email and at the bottom of it it has from John Smith's iPad or iPhone, blow me. Dude, the fact of the matter is if you want this bad enough, you're going to find a way to make it. That might mean you having to sacrifice some of those things that you want to, to buy or that might be, um, you might be sacrificing your time, getting a job that requires you to make enough money to get in here and do things you know you need to do to get the success you want. Ultimately, this is a sacrifice. Whether you're sacrificing your time or your money, you have to be willing to sacrifice to get what you want in life. Once again, don't be a pussy. Quit making excuses. I live too far away. Two examples here, number one, the fact that Lincoln Auger and the Slave Ho both came from out of state to make it to the man cave and train here for a week. Two, Columbus wasn't looking for America, but that seemed to work for all of us. You're welcome. Don't tell me you can't make it because it's too far away. That's bullshit. It's not too far away. You just don't want it bad enough. You say you're too tired, you're too lazy, or you just don't feel like it. Well, I can tell you this much. I can, uh, I can assure you the people that are always going to be successful in life are going to be the ones that are willing to work and do the things necessary to get to where they want to be in life, even when they're not feeling like working. You got to quit being such a pussy and be willing to work and sacrifice those times when you don't really feel like doing the things you know you need to do. Because the fact of the matter is this, man. Even the most motivated person has days where they don't want to do shit. They don't want to do things they know they need to do. But they're unwilling to fail and that is what allows them to stay focused and do it, the things they need to do in order for the success they want, even when they don't want to do it. So quit being a pussy, grab your balls, be a man, and do the things you got to do to be the success you want to be. You say you'll do it later. No you won't. You're a pussy. Everyone that says they're going to do it later is a procrastinator. And procrastinators are the type that never take action and get what they want in life. Just admit it. You're a pussy. You don't want it. That's it. You say you're not the type that goes to a gym. Well, you got two options. One, you can do some kick-ass bodyweight stuff, kind of like in the, uh, the brick shithouse day format or the finishers format that we do. Um, or you can do the other thing, which tells me you're kind of like an insecure fat chick. You can go to Curves down the road. It's, um, it's going to accept you with open heart and open arms. And I think they'll like the fact that you're a giant bleeding pussy. Go for it. They'll like you there. You say you've got better things to do than get in the gym and get swole. Little story for you. There's two types of guys. The guys that come in here, get jacked, ripped, strong, swole, get the results they want, go out and have the confidence in order to get whatever they want in life, go out and take it. And then there's the guys that don't. They have no confidence, they're pussies, they have no self-respect, and don't get respect from anyone else. Which one do you want to be? Just a thought. 
You say you need to be motivated. Well, let me motivate you right now. Quit being such a pussy and getting in the way of your own success. You need to realize that you are a badass and you have greatness inside of you, but only you can allow yourself to pull that greatness out. Quit being such a pussy and allow yourself to be the badass that nature intends you to be. Do the things you need to do in order to become the success you want to become and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it because they're fucking haters and they're wrong. Do whatever you got to do to become the success you want. Don't stop. Don't be a pussy. Be the man you know you want to be. You say you failed too many times before and you're just giving up. If that's the case, then understand this. Every bit of success I've ever had is because I've failed in that venture before and I've learned from my mistakes. Learn from your mistakes and create a better solution to the problem. That's it. Don't give up. Fix what's ever fucked up and allow yourself to be the success you want to be. Put together a better plan, stick to it, make the adjustments you need to make and become better. That's it. Real simple, right? The last one, no one believes in me. Got news for you, dude. There's gonna be a lot of haters out there. Friends, family, foes. There's a lot of people that want to see nothing more than for you to fail. The thing is, that's because of their own insecurities. They need to see other people fail to feel better about their own shitty lives. Don't hold on to that negative energy and do nothing positive with it. What I do, it's helped me a lot is um, I do I do hold on that negative energy, but I focus on doing positive things with it just to prove them wrong. So I can look back when I'm on the mountaintop and fly my middle finger saying, dude, suck on these nuts, all right? There's gonna be plenty of haters out there. It's your job to prove them wrong, all right? Fuck the haters. It's gonna be really awesome when you can look down on them and say, suck on my nuts, dude. Trust me, I had millions of haters in the beginning and uh, I, I feel very satisfied knowing that they're still at the bottom and I'm at the top. It's very gratifying. Prove your haters wrong. They suck. You don't. Pull the greatness out of you. Let them know how badass you are by proving them wrong. Listen guys, excuses, I've heard a million of them. They're like assholes. They stink, everyone's got them, and nothing comes from them but shit. All the excuses that you have are keeping you from getting what you want in life and becoming the success that you deserve to be. In the gym, it's either you not working hard enough or you not having the right plan with your hard work ethic to get you from point A to point B in as fast and efficient way as possible. If you're frustrated, you don't know why you're not getting what you want even though you're busting your ass giving it all you've got, then the odds are your program is off point. My boy DC and I can help you with that. But you have to click the link below and let us help you out. Don't get in the way of your own success. You're going to hate yourself forever if that's the case. So do yourself a favor. Click the link below and allow me in DC to help you unfuck what is fucked up. Have a good night, soldiers. Mandler. Out.